fairly often. And uh, at that time, I was experiencing, I was going through uh, kidney stones. I had to make them every about three or four months. And uh, I was in here, uh, and I felt one coming on. So uh, this is before he got, he got his machine, but he had some of the water here. And I said, you know, i got to hurry up. i got to get home and take my pain pill and uh, just, just rest so I can you know, make it through this. This kidney stone, and he brought out a, a two-gallon container, and it was half full of condomari. He goes, "Well, why don't you just take it home and and uh, see if it see if it works, see if it does anything?" And and uh, I took it home. I drank water that night, and the pain only lasted about eight hours. Now, normally, and worst the worst one was I was in bed and uh, I was in pain for over eighteen hours. I was in so much pain that I couldn't even change the channel on the TV with the remote. I just had to stay completely still. And the only time I would get any relief was when I would uh, crawl to the bathroom, I'd dry heave, and then I'd make it back into bed, and for the next five minutes it was, it was okay. A little bit better, and then, then it would just come right back. It was, it was horrible. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Now, at the time, I didn't know if I was going through this because of you know something screwed up in my body or something. I don't know if I told you before, but I rode bulls for about 10 years. So I had a lot of injuries, so a lot of pain. Um, I, I would kind of get in the shower and for about five minutes, I'd just kind of lean over like this and let the water run on my back to kind of loosen it up, you know. Um, this, uh, this here is a picture of me on uh, Copenhagen Rapid Fire. This is a 97 world champion buck and bull. And then here's just one of my, my favorite pictures. So, anyway, like I said, the pain only lasted about eight hours that night. So, I didn't attribute anything to the water. And I was coming to get two gallons of water from Dr. Milham every two to three weeks. That's all the water I was drinking. And so, sure enough, three or four months go by. And I start getting another kidney stone. And I feel it coming on. But this time I thought I had a urinary tract infection. Because it was starting to burn when I urinate. And uh, so I, I looked at my medical book for a urinary tract infection and it literally said drink lots of water. Think in terms of gallons. So I thought well what better water to get than uh, the condom water. I, I'd already seen one of the DVDs that they had. So I rushed down here, got two gallons. I had about a gallon still at home. So I, uh, I went home and I drank as much water as I could that entire weekend. And uh, on the following Tuesday, I passed the kidney stone, and that's that's the kidney stone there. Oh. <laughs> a little bit size. It's about twice as thick as that dime. Mm -hmm. And uh, since that time, I haven't had one kidney problem, kidney stone, anything like that. As a matter of fact, as soon as that thing was gone, I, I started feeling better. So I continued to drink the water as much as I could. Um, decided to, to get a machine on my of my own. Actually, it was after I saw a demonstration like you're going to see tonight. Mm -hmm. John Swartzstrom was putting it on. And uh, Mil Dr. Millen had invited me to it. And, and uh, quite possibly one of the main reasons I went was it was a free dinner. <laughs> 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 so, so I decided to, uh, to go. And I saw John doing the demonstration. That's when I realized I knew what it had done for me already. But that's when I realized that this water was for everyone. Whether you have an illness and trying to get better, whether you're an athlete trying to get the uh, an edge up, um, or if you just want more energy, just want to feel better, sleep better, all that stuff, I realized that it was for everybody, and that's when I decided for sure I was I'm going to get, get a machine. I didn't really know much about the business aspect of it at the time, but uh, anyway, so I just kept drinking the water, ended up getting a machine myself, and now. I'm in so much less pain than I was before. I don't have to bend over in the shower anymore, loosen up my back. I still get adjustment, adjustments from Dr. Milham uh, to maintain everything. But uh, I have to say that I feel better today than I did 10 years ago, by, by far. And I can tell you a few times of me getting out the water of, of people just, you know, really uh, feeling it, getting better. I had a girl who liked to uh, go out, party quite a bit. And she called me at 9 o'clock in the morning. She's out walking. And she's like, Mark, I need my, my conch and water. She goes, you're, it's like crack. Goes, you're a crack dealer. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, uh, but anyway, that's how I got introduced to it. 